Hi, my name is Robert. I'm with Pathway Connectivity. We're going to show the Cognito Lighting Control Desk in the Neato app here at USITT. So, um, this is a very small desk that is suitable for high schools and churches and black boxes and small touring venues. And in its very simplest form, it is just as easy as you can imagine. Here, I'll just bring up this dimmer here, which throws this light on the ground here. And if I look, and here's another one that uh, throws a light here. And if I went like this and I hit the pin button, what it does, it allows me to operate the desk disconnected from the rig and then I can set up something else sort of in blind and then now I'll just unpin it and we're just going to crossfade from one scene to another. Just as simple as it gets, but of course it goes way beyond that. Everything is centered on this capacitive touchscreen in the middle and we've broken down the task of getting art on the stage into four things that you do over and over again. You have to select your lights and we give you different tools for selecting your lights and these are the lights up here. After you've selected a light you then go into control and that opens up and it shows intensity, color, position and shape control. And as you can see there's lots of different ways of controlling each of those different flavors which are you know brown, purple, green and pink. Anyways, we'll get into that in a second. And after you've done setting up your lights and getting it all pretty, then you need to record it. And you can record it to memories, which live up here, and you throw those on handles, or cues, which live in playlists, which can be played back here or here, libraries, which is a little bit more complicated, but there's color, position, and shape libraries. And these are sometimes referred to as palettes, so you would build uh, a position called downstage center and once you've updated that all the cues will be reflected and then you can also record groups like all of my sides all of my shins all of my top lights whatever it happens to be and then when you've done your selecting your controlling your recording you then want to play it black and you can play back the memories or the left playback which has a list here or the right playback which has a list here or this mix mode where you can actually see everything. So some of the controls are fun to look at too because we don't do things in DMX as in you don't pan and tilt the light in percent. You don't zoom the light in a percent. You actually zoom your light in 26 degrees, 36 degrees, 50 degrees just like you would with other lights in your theater. And this is what we call natural language control. And uh, it becomes very exciting and I'll demonstrate I'm going to demonstrate now, instead of doing it on the desk, just running out of time here, I'm going to demonstrate on the iPad Neato app. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my spot controls and I'm going to go to intensity and I'm going to select light number one, which it is there, and remotely now, without a wire, this is a cable for locking, it's not a wire, I can actually just bring up the intensity of this very light. Then I might go into the position controls for it here and I can actually position it and you might see it on the floor here and we can actually position it in, out in the world like that. We also have the ability to use the built-in accelerometers and I can actually just tilt my, my iPad and it will actually position the light like that. So that's kind of fun. One of the other things that is often very difficult to do with a moving light desk is to control the shutters. And we have the ability here to graphically do it just by picking points in space with my fingers or my thumbs, multi-touching, and I can build a shape on there. And then once I get a shape, I might want to make a color and I can just put in generic colors or I might use a color picking tool or I might use any one of the gel libraries and pick a color from there. Using the built-in camera I took a picture of our friend's booth here at AC Lighting and I can actually just match a color from here to there because of using the built-in camera. So, so there's a lot of different tools inside of here uh, it's, a, it's a great desk if you've got a small venue. Uh, it runs up to 1024 channels or two streams of DMX. 
it has MIDI show control, it's got serial, it's got DMX in, uh, and the whole thing will run, if you're a bit geeky like me, the Ethernet protocols, it'll run Pathport protocol, of course, streaming ACN, ArtNet, and the whole desk can be powered up through the Cat5 cable on power over Ethernet. So, that's a very short overview of the Cognito console by Price Pathway range. Connectivity. Price range. Price range. Uh, it starts at around $3,500, and if you fill it up with gas completely, it goes up to about $55 in a bit, uh, depending on how many control channels or the show control you want. It also comes in a PC-only version, which is shown over here, running on Mac OS X. It also runs on Windows 32 or 64-bit uh, operating systems. They start as low as uh, $995 or $975, and they come bundled with some of our output nodes as high as $2,800.